Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Horizon Forbidden West. So, last time, we started the game, and we found out about the Blight. Am I too close to that? There we go. And... Now, we're trying to find a backup to Gaia? Which is why we are here, in this ruins with um, Val. And at the minute we're trying to find a way for him to get up okay, here. I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. Well let's do it. There you go, Varl. Thanks. Bunker door. Heavily shielded. but not locked. Humans, homo sapiens, us. We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our government's abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimbumbe, the truest form of immortality is... Data corrupt. The playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Oh. I thought that was an early hint at something to come, but apparently not. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For their colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah. Reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. They just didn't know how. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center.
there. The backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. I keep getting transfixed by Aloy's hair. Because it is the most hair like hair I think I've ever seen. The old ones could fly. They were capable of a lot of things. For good and bad. Sure seems like it. I wonder what it's like up there. Among the stars. My Show focus off. might be able to help here. I'm sure it can. I'm looting right now. I can't believe I nearly missed that jump. It was so small. I'm fairly certain I know what I've got to do. Deeper into the creepy ruin we go. I mean, what's creepy about it? I'm not finding this one particularly creepy. I wonder if it only hurts you when it's doing this. I mean, it's always doing the spory thing. What is that? Keep your guard up. Oh, my guard is up. Well, that thing looks new. Light makes my throat itch. Yes, it degrades my health too. Up here. <laughs> Careful. Don't want those things to call in some friends from underground. Okay. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. Sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. I should scan it uh, first. Okay. Tag it. I can throw a rock to distract it. Get it into a position where I can sneak up and strike. Just have to wait for the right moment. How do I throw a rock? Perhaps a wheeled rock. Okay, well. Oh, come on, I killed it. Why did you have to reload? I need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Do I not have any rocks or something? Can't let it see me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path. I'm going to go with I didn't have any rocks. Okay, there's its patrol path. Closer and stay out of sight. Okay, I have seven rocks now. Ah, see, now I've equipped the rock. Where am I throwing this to? Forgot that I have to press down to pull out a rock first. I need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. I Can I have those rocks, please? Check its patrol path. I need them. Alright, yeah, scan it first. I can throw a rock 
Okay, got a rock. Throw the rock over here. Let it get nice and close. Silent strike. It should not have taken me that long to do that. Gotcha. Mine's down too. Good, good. Now I can get some loot. Anything else down here before I leave? I can loot his guy. We got to be stealthy again? I'm guessing. I suppose we don't have to be now. Now it's done its teaching. On your lead. Oh, I can only do one at a time, can't I? He wandered straight over, so make my life easy. Uh, let's take all of that. I like this guy's path. You can loot this place in a minute. Once I've dealt with everything. Oh, it's coming back already. Stop here. Sure does. Is that all of them? Am I free to walk around now? I hope so, because what I'm doing. Some more wood over there, but was something spotting me then? It sure was. Chill out. There's nobody here. Just keep patrolling. And I'll take you out when you come over here. These things remind me of otters. And I think that's cute. mention I noticed you have a new look these days <laughs> yeah I know didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you don't worry it's not permanent good sorry my whiskers offend you anointed what have you got against beard Taylor? there's nothing wrong with a good beard like this little guy got caught up in the blight. I couldn't escape. I hope it didn't suffer long. Me too. It's cool that we are seeing like more actual animals. I don't remember seeing a lot of like actual animals 
in the first game. Obviously, all the machines are based on. The Osram must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Um, the, all the machines are based on an animal of some description. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. I'll keep this for later. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. I always forget that there's potions. Because I just tend to use my medicinal herbs. Careful, traps ahead. Huh. Might be able to disarm them. There, managed to salvage some supplies. I'm so. And not blow yourself up. I know. I'm so worried. I'm gonna blow myself up by getting too close. Dismantled it, and got more supplies. Another camp? Looks like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. Good idea. I can make traps? To craft a blast trap, hold down to open your hunter's kit and navigate to the blast trap. Uh, I don't have the right supplies to craft a trap. But it looks like the Osram shot off some machine parts. I might be able to scrounge up enough materials from them. Well, I'm guessing that's what this stuff's all for. I can use this. Oh, I need another one. Oh, here we go. Oh, that was a lot more. Should have what I need to craft a trap. No, no, loot that, please. Thank you. Oh, and that one. I'll make the trap in a minute. Okay. Um. Sure. There. Explosive trap made. If anything walks into one of those, it won't know what hit it. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so you can tap circle before reaching the grapple point to launch into the air. I imagine at the minute all that'll do is hurt me. Machine's head. Don't think they spotted us. I better scan them. Good call. I should. I've seen this machine before. A scrounger. New to me. Let's see where its good points are. Maybe we could place one of those traps you made in its path. Okay. Um, select the blast trap. Okay, I'm on the blast trap. If I highlight its track. How quick is it going to come over here? Too quick. see anything. Move on. Can I just silent strike this one? I could have. How do I? How do I use this? this here. Like that, apparently. Now 
now I just want to get away from it. It'll go and blow up on its own now. I'm assuming that'll be enough to kill it. Do you think that'll alert this one though? I mean, it's almost certainly going to alert this one, right? Silent striking though would have been so much easier, but okay. I'm not sure how often I'm going to use uh, traps. You've been in a lot of old world ruins. Are they all like this? Well, they all have their secrets, but every place is different. I think it depends, I suppose, on what other traps we get as well, because obviously that one was quite loud. So, we'll see. I'm sure it'll come in handy. It could be quite good as a distraction. While you sneak up on somebody else, take someone out and um, get away from them, I suppose. We will learn. Now, where am I going? Oh, over here. Okay, maybe not. Oh, hello. Glad I came the wrong way. Although I'm sure... No, it is the right way. I just jumped to the wrong thing. That makes more sense. Whoa. That machine you saw earlier must be on the move. Let's hope it doesn't come this way. I agree. Although I am sure I'm going to have to fight it at some point. It looked like a giant snake. I look forward to seeing all of the new different enemies that they've put into this one. Big storm picking up out there. Yeah, and they're getting stronger and more frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that. Yeah. I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. I mean, that's a lot of pressure to put on one person. You must fix the entire world. Hey, Varl. There's data here. You scan it with your focus. Whoops. Go vaulting over everything. This data mentions the tech that Farzina traded with Zero Dawn. Um, right. High Council Executive Summary. Negotiations with representatives from Zero Dawn have concluded, and I am exceptionally pleased that we've arrived at a mutually profitable agreement. It shows that sugar usually goes down better than salt, in contrast to the less tactful recommendations of certain of our more reactionary members. In short, Far Z Zenith, Zenith will provide a copy of the prototype Homer archive already sent, 500 ectogenic chambers to be retrieved from storage at our Ninma facility, supplementary ectogenesis research reports. In exchange, Far Zenith will receive a copy of the alpha build of the Apollo database in the week prior to the Odyssey's launch. By our estimates of Zero Dawn's timeline, by then it should be a near complete repository of human knowledge. It should be noted that Dr. Sobek was very reluctant to, ad to agree to this, but I drew a line in the sand making it clear that this was a non-negotiable term. As our faithful media representative, I will continue to run all public communications with Dr. Sobek's team, while data corrupted. Okay. That doesn't explain how they got it back up. I'll keep an eye out for more data. Let's see. 
Huh. A lot of glyphs. I'll tuck this away to study later. Okay, you do that, dude. I don't know what you're tucked away to study later, but... Looks like we've got to climb up. At least we got a ladder we can knock down. In case we ever need to get back quickly. You okay? Yeah. Guess we won't be going that way. No, yeah, man. Um, this way. Say like this holds up better. Well, it is a thousand years old. Now we know from the first game that looks like some kind of meeting room. That door on the other side's locked. There's another one of those glowing things by the table. Um. Yeah, we know that the Apollo Archive. Maybe that thing at the table does Wait, something. Shut up, I'm talking. Um. That the Apollo Archive was destroyed. So I can understand why Aloy would know what a year is. But why does. Why did Val not question what a year is? Did the Nora come up with the same concept of time? It'd be interesting because they wouldn't have a. They wouldn't have understood, like, hours, minutes, seconds, years, months, days, and called it necessarily the same thing. They would have had to relearn all of that. So it's interesting that he didn't question that. Onzu. The Zero Dawn terraforming system, the brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase 2. The asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, it's okay, Paul. We look alike because... We're the exact same. Genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made. By a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup? is like a set of instructions. It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Laurel. There isn't one. How can you be sure? 
It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? See, I expect more of that from Val. His not understanding what's going on, how things work in the old world, all that kind of stuff. Huh. Look at that. Aloy, over here. I found something you could use. A weapon. Thanks, Val. We should keep moving. After you. What weapon was I just... Frost, Blast, Sling? Blast things launch bombs that affect large areas. This weapon fire f fires frost bombs. So do we have different slings for different types of thing, or do I just need to find different ammo? Having a whole new sling for a different type of ammo seems a bit excessive, but who knows? Down here. Ow. It's not really what I had intended, but you know. It got me down safe and sound, so. I think we're almost back outside. Good. Look, that must be the machine. It's in the same direction we're going. Great. There's definitely a snake. Okay. I can do more damage to it while it's brittle. I better switch to my bow. Oh, okay. We're using the bow, are we? It's not my head in mind, but okay. It's not taught me much about melee combat yet, but I mean, that's what I was doing. More of the Osirin Delvers and a lot of acid. That big machine must have attacked as they tried to escape. They didn't stand a chance. Unfortunately, no, they did not. I should make some more arrows. So, you said this backup is the last hope. Yeah. All those places I've been these last few months, there were supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrow purged them all. Was he part of Far Zenith too? No. He was worse. Yes, he Looks was. Looks like we can cross over here. And that is what we will do next time out. So we're actually kind of glad by the sound of it that Farzina has stolen a backup of Gaia. Because it sounds like it's our only way to get one. So, I mean those clouds look amazing. This whole game just looks amazing. Like, I can't get enough of how Aloy's hair actually moves. Like, it's incredible. It, like, flows and, like, moves. I mean, not quite exactly the same as normal hair would, but it's, like, properly reactive. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Next time, we will carry on and maybe have to fight the snake monster. I'm guessing we're going to have to fight the snake machine at some point, so I don't know when that'll be, but it's definitely going to be soon, I reckon. And let's see if we can find this backup. So if you enjoyed this one... Hit the like button below, let me know what you thought in the comments, and join us next time for the next one.